So this is Ryan's hair before. Check this shit out. This is legit going over his damn ears. Four months? Yeah, around there. Let's get rid of it. Summer roll. Mm. With noodles and beef and mint and lettuce. Good. You want to taste your noodles? Oh god, complication with that. <clears throat> Normally I'd pick it up in my hand. Get a little bit of tripe. He finished it off. Well, enjoy your meal, dear. stop for today today is sunday father's day and we are at goodwill i kind of bought a lot of stuff for myself which is so bad right is it right yeah i think you can get to it this is what ron wanted to do for father's day how nice right so we just left our first goodwill and while we were going to go check out oh look at this line for my mask I paid for all of our stuff. We spent stuff on our seat here. Total of $44.94. We got one, two, three, four, five. What? Six items. I don't think they charge for some stuff. What in the world? She didn't charge for everything. Anyway, Ryan saw this huge. I don't know if you can see it right there. See that big toolbox? Ooh. And it's loaded with? It's full of craftsman tools, ratchets, sockets, extensions, screwdrivers. 90, your hand, please. I did already. I used their oh. 90% craftsman. Free. And Ryan doesn't care about asking, so he actually went up to them and was like, Oh, can you guys go price it? And the lady just gave it to him. What did she say? It's too heavy for them to stock. They can't lift it upstairs where it belongs. It's literally over 100 pounds, so they were going to just toss it crazy and he literally 
made us load it. We'll go over it when we get home. We'll show you guys what's in the toolbox. But how much money you think that that has? If I also buy all those tools nowadays just by glancing, there's over $400 worth of tools in there. For free! You figure one Craftsman big Phillips screwdriver is like 8 to $12. There's like 10 of them. A socket is 5 to $10 depending on the size. There's probably 50 or 60 of them. I think three or four ratchets. And this is why Ryan likes thrifting. Okay, we need to go find somewhere to pee. I need to pee before we go to the next store. Good little Coke Street paid off. Stopping. Check the brake. So this scrub right here is the most happiest he's ever been thrifting. Why? Well, not the most happiest. There's other times I've been happy when I found like the fishing point and stuff, but this is free. I got a whole big old style mechanics toolbox full of 90% craftsman tools. The, the old craftsman tools. Made in America. Unbelievable. He's so freaking jolly. This is outrageous. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's great. Yeah, Tommy, you're gonna eat at this. Oh, spaghetti factory. Oh, is it over there? Yeah. Can I turn? I can turn here. It's so straight. How do I turn in there? Fuck, I have no idea. You can't even turn up there. Well, yeah. let's go what did she say? When you asked well, her. Well, at first, I asked the lady, oh, there's a toolbox in the front. I'm interested in not so much a toolbox, but some of the tools inside. And then she said, which one, the big heavy one? I'm like, yeah, the big heavy one in the front. She's like, just take them. And at first I thought she was joking. So I'm like, the toolbox with the tools. You said, take them? She's like, yeah, take it for free. I'm like, you're sure? And then she said, yeah, it's too heavy for us to lift up. We can't take it upstairs where it belongs or we sort stuff out to stock it. And so she said, when you leave, here's the, she provided me with a hand truck. So when, after she told me the third time I wasn't going to argue, I took it. You took it. Thank you, Goodwill Cook Street. I didn't catch your name, but you're the bestest. Oh my God. Score. No, I won't shut up. No. Even it's happy. You have to listen to that shit the whole time now. You should put something on it. Yeah. That one drawer is opening. Oh. We're gonna go eat at the old spaghetti factory, which just moved. The new old spaghetti factory. The new old spaghetti factory. I wonder factory. if they have the big chair. I, when I was a kid, I got to sit in the tall chair. I don't even know where it is. Oh, you gotta turn blue. Where are we today, Daddy? The old spaghetti, or the new old spaghetti factory. I probably, last time I've been in this place was over 20 years when they were at Ward. Same here.
What are you eating? It's a salad. A uh, side salad with Thousand Island dressing. And a stroni soup. His hand is it blocks the whole screen. Thank you. These are fun. You like it? Yep. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I'll eat it though. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so we are sharing. I got the classic Sicilian meatball. Sicilian meatball. What did I do? Oh. Spinach, Spinach and something cheese. ravioli. Yeah. Spinach and cheese ravioli. Yum. So we're actually gonna half it, so we can actually taste both. You wanna do the honors? I'm not good at that. <laughs> Imagine cheese rather than oil. Homemade, for tasting, for flavor. It's good. What? See if the meatball tastes the same. <clears throat> it looks the same. Maybe it just looked huge because I was a kid. Pretty much the same meatball, that's good. You want to tell them about our history with related to <clears throat> Spaghetti Factory? Why we like this meatball so much? Well, not like it because it's soft and it's juicy. And when I was a kid, they seemed a lot bigger, they seemed huge. <laughs> but last time I came, it was 20 years ago mm -hmm. when they used to be at the old location. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to test my my flavors start with the ravioli look at that mm. oh I like the ravioli very yummy I like it of this meat. Mm. I'm pretty good. I personally don't remember what it tastes like a long time ago. It was really when my grandpa was alive and walking. I think that was like 25 years ago. 22, 23 years ago probably. Yeah. Um, if you're not from home, I don't think you really know this, but the actual original old spaghetti factory was Ward Shopping Center. Ward Shopping Center. <clears throat> so they moved now to Aloha Tower. Everybody's afraid that, you know, when a restaurant moves, it's a different flavor, but it's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Now we show stuff for our faces, but we can't do that on film. We'll be looking like piggies. We'll check in in a row. Dessert, what is Spumoni it? ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Mmm, let's see. I didn't try it yet. Good. Really good. Explain the flavor. 
Um, I believe it's pistachio ice cream, cherry, and chocolate. Ooh. I approve. <laughs> hey guys, we are at our second store. We just finished eating lunch, as you could tell. We are at Savers in Dillingham. Now, on all of the ground, it has little signs. You can see it right there on the ground. So every single aisle, there's one way only, and you have to follow it. Um, good thing about Savers is each each day, I think they have a color that's like 50% off. So today is the blue. His daddy over there, he's checking out some rims. But we'll see. Hopefully, we we'll find some treasures here. Here he goes. Quite excited he is. Hey, you're pushing a wagon, Mister. just left Savers in Dillingham and we spent a lot of money. How much did we spend? $207 on 27 items. 27 items. $207. So that's not bad. That's less than $10 an item. Not a lot of good stuff though. Brand calculated it. With all that stuff we bought. I would say maybe 600. Yeah, maybe. I'd say a little more, but there's the bag you got, the four injector coils I found that are brand new, that pair of shoes I got, and maybe a one pair or two pair of pants should cover the whole bill. The rest is profit. So less than seven items out of the 27, and then it's the rest is 100% profit. We were in there quite a while. What quite time, a while. What time did we get in there? Probably four. A little bit four, four. So it's 6.01 right now. Oh my god, I am like... My face that entire time in the mask was just killing me. Oh. It's our new thing now. Americans wearing masks. But it's 6.01. Right now, and Ryan wants to try to make it to the next Savers, which closes at 7. So we shall see how fast he gets us there. Go ahead. I think they're profiling me in there. You just picked up our food. Why? Because there, there was like four other phone orders on the counter. Uh huh. First thing I walk in. Oh, phone order, Ryan. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Aww. Why do you seem so salty? Not. I'm gonna go home and look at my tools. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is that toolbox that I, that's all the tools that I got for free from Goodwill because it was apparently, I think they said, too heavy or too large of an item to inventory and stock. So let's see what we got here. Well, start off with a bunch of sockets in here. Ratchet, 3/8 ratchet, all made in the USA. 90% of this is all crafting stuff. If I had to guess, I'd say there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's about ten right there. Maybe 
80 to 100 pieces, probably 100 including what's in here. Open up the next drawer. Let's close this. Well, I can leave it open. It's in drawer number one. I need something to pull this open because the handle is kind of busted off. Okay, the top drawer is just looks like the good old fashioned nuts and bolts drawer, extra parts, which is great. You won't believe how many times my bucket of bolts saved me from having to go to the hardware store or the auto parts store to get one bolt or one nut or one fitting. And I got a whole bunch of to add to my collection that I already have. We got air fittings, plumbing fittings for the car looks like. More air fittings. Bolts. Nuts and bolts. All kind of stuff. something to do it with in here. Okay. What's this? Magnet. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. We have wrenches. Allen wrenches, opening wrenches, box wrenches, chisel, yeah, one of the handles that ripped off this toolbox, back of them. Yeah, again, most of it's made in America and I'd say a good majority of it is all craftsman or snap-on type of deal. Franken Warner, I never heard of that, but still made in the USA. A lot of craftsmen, majority craftsmen. This guy probably was some kind of mechanic or maybe a good DIYer. Something to pry this door open. Let's see if I can just put my hand in there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I have? Let's use one of these Allen wrenches here. Use this guy. Okay, what's in here? Looks like pliers. This is a really interesting looking one. Never seen one like this. It's pretty old. Looks old. Huh. I wonder if this is homemade or... No, I don't think that's homemade. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of pliers here. What have we got here? Channel lock. Good set of pliers. Uh, what are these? I can't see anything on those, but hey, as long as the tool works, right? Crescent, made in the USA. Little tiny monkey wrench. Razor knife. Okay, and the bottom drawer, let's go for it. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that is a lot of screwdrivers. Wow. And again, mostly craftsmen. Craftsmen, craftsmen, craftsmen. I believe green handle, this is a matte coat. Yep, matte coat. 
crushing. You got some Stanleys in here, but majority Craftsman and what's not Craftsman is mostly made in the USA. Craftsman. I believe this is a snap on. Set of Craftsman pliers. Just to put this in the plier drawer. That's what it is. Just take a quick look. in mind this box of tools from Goodwill was 100% free I even asked the lady if she was sure she said yes I'm doing them a favor by taking it off their hands okay so it's a little while later I did a quick count all the sockets that you see in the tray right here are either craftsmen Proto or Snap-on, all made in the USA, all great tools. There's actually 102 pieces, not to mention the two Craftsman ratchets, half inch and three eighths and that big extension. And those handful of, I think there's some of them are Stanley, some are all trade. Um, a few other brands I don't recognize made in Taiwan. I'd say there's about 15 or 20 there, but 102 Craftsman Snap-on or Proto sockets. And as most of you know, you can't walk into Sears or to a Snap-on truck and get even one of these tiny ones for less than 2 or $3. On average, I'd say these sockets in the store, if you needed to buy them today, you'd be spending for the, these little guys over here, anywhere from 2 3 to maybe upwards 5 6 7 $8. And then these big ones are all probably in the six to seven all the way up to maybe probably I'd say some in the nine ten eleven dollar range the ratchets um, those are your basic craftsman ratchets they still hold their warranty so um, if you ever do get any um, you can take it right back to Sears and they'll either fix it on the spot or if they can't they'll replace it with a new one and then these deep sockets you see they're taller than the rest those all are probably in the eight i'd say seven to ten dollar range so i mean you can just do the math on that and keep in mind this was a hundred percent free okay so another quick count on this side we have all again i separated the american made we got mostly craftsmen but we got uh Proto somewhere, Proto line wrench, and then two snap ons. 13 there, and not to mention a whole bunch of other brand wrenches. And not all bad, I just like to separate the ones made in America versus the ones made in Taiwan. I mean, a tool is a tool, as long as it turns the nut or bolt or screws the screw you're trying to screw. I have nothing against uh, any other brand of tool. It's just, this is so people can understand what a great deal I got. And they were just gonna throw this away. In fact, there's a few brands made in Japan here that are actually great uh, tool brands, also. Okay, here's the last drawer, the screwdriver drawer. So I did a quick count again. I separated just um, 
the USA made tools. No, actually these are just Craftsman snap and snap-on screwdrivers. So including Phillips and flathead and some Torx bits and some nut drivers. There's a total of 24 Craftsman screwdrivers. And if you notice, a couple of them are broken, but Craftsman still holds their warranty. So you can go back for a, a complete exchange, especially on a screwdriver since they can't fix that. And so does, um, what is that brand? Snap-on. Snap-on and Matco. That's a yellow Snap-on nut driver. That's a green Matco flathead. And then the two square um, black handle screwdrivers are both Snap-on. All these brands... You can go to the store if you find them for free or for a cheap price and they're broken. Don't be afraid to buy them because you can go back to the store or the Snap-on guy and get a free replacement. So yeah, just just um, an amazing find today for 100% free. Oh, and not to mention my count of Craftsman or Snap-on or Proto sockets was 102. I found 10 more in the bottom drawer, so that brings the total up to 112. Oh, and not to mention the bottom drawer that had all the screwdrivers that are separated out still has all completely usable screwdrivers. Again, most of them made in America. You got the wooden handle Irwins, the yellow and black rubber handle Stanleys. You can do a lot of work with this toolbox. Work on just about any car. Anything around the home you may need.